So I'm going to make a video uh, analyzing uh, what's happening with OBS as far as uh, what kind of uh, requirements. Oh, man. What is going on here? There we go. Uh, what kind of, like, usage it uses. And I'm confused with my mouses here. I have two, two mice doing mice things. Okay, so uh, my main monitor is a Samsung uh, G7. It's got 240 hertz at 1440p. And I've got an Elgato uh, 4K60 Pro Mark II for my capture card. That would be my second guy there. So the only way I can get it to shunt over it without screen tearing is to uh, use OBS. And I find I get some input lag. So I'm on an adventure to figure out what's actually happening. And so uh, let's turn OBS off. OBS is off. We take a look at my, can I make this bigger? Okay. We take a look at my GPU and my CPU with OBS off. If I don't move anything or do anything, this stuff should go to zero, zero. My CPU and my GPU should both, you know, bottom out at zero. Okay. So that's our baseline for nothing happening. Then if I open up OBS, you'll see uh, my CPU bumps up to 1%, it, it doesn't really do much, 2%, and my GPU jumps up to 6. And currently, uh, for my outputs, I'm using the NVENC encoder on the streaming and the recording. Do that. I was playing around with it earlier. So, with nothing happening, well, I have a display, display capture here. Let's get rid of that. Remove. Remove. So, if I get rid of that, we're looking at 1% uh, CPU, 6% GPU, right? Okay, so now if I add a display capture, and this is how I get it across to the other side. Uh, oh, yes. It's still pretty good. It's 6%, 7%. Now, if you enable the preview, guess what happens? Boom, it jumps up to like 11%. So don't use this unless you need to. And then um, to get it to go over, we go full screen projector and we go Elgato, sees, which is essentially this monitor, which is the Elgato, right? Uh, we full screen projector over and now what happened? Oh crap, hang on. Like this. Now you can see it. I'm so confused. Uh, yeah, so now with the display capture ported over to the other side, we're at uh, 10, 12% usage. And that's using uh, the NVENC encoder. So if I switch my NVENC encoder, like I have an i9-9900, uh, and I usually, you know, I'm not hitting my, the top end of my uh, CPUs anywhere. So if I switch these to my X264, go OK. Now I think my GPU will drop, and then my CPU will go up a little bit. Nope. My GPU hasn't dropped. Okay, let me uh, remove that. Let's see. No, it's just sitting there at like 11, 12%. Huh. So, changing to X264 didn't change anything to do with the GPU. Did I do that right? That video output. Yeah, X264. X264 did not change anything as far as how my GPU is dealing with stuff. 
So it looks like, you know, and God forbid you turn this on. Now you're going to jump up like, oh, wait, I don't even have a source in there. Uh, if you turn that on, I think, yeah, you're up to like 15, 16%. Yeah, so, and then if I turn the preview window off, uh, do I drop back down? I drop back down to like 11. Now, this is interesting because a lot of the times we set up our games when we're playing with nothing else on and we try and figure out our frame rate and our percentages and what feels good with no OBS on. And... They say that when you max out your GPU, like 96, 97%, you can have some input lag, and that might be where it's coming from. So I'm playing around with this to try and see. The other thing I want to try and see is you're not going to see anything for a little bit. So I'm going to remove that. Oh, you still might, actually, yeah. I want to see if I change my canvas to... Uh, like, if I'm going to stream at 720, like, it might make sense to make my canvas 720. Uh, I'll add the display capture. Like that, but now i got to resize. What do you, you can just go fit to screen, right? Transform. Fit to screen. There we go. Now it's a blurry mess. But I'm curious to see whether or not that makes a difference GPU-wise. And it looks like it's the same. It doesn't look like it's changed at all. What, 12%? Yeah, no, it's 11. It was 11, 12 before. I wonder if it's actually having to do more work. Oh, 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 what's happening here? Drop below 9, 10, 9. Nope, it's sort of toggling. So it looks like it's around the same, depending, uh, regardless of the canvas. So I don't know. I don't know if it's better. I, I would say it's probably better to do it on your streaming PC to do the conversion because then it's, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. Uh, I gotta go fit to screen, right? Where is it? Boom. And uh, enable, disable. So it's looking like the best thing that I can do is to disable preview on this one. Now, what if I have uh, output? Oh, I'm running the, the CPU as the encoder, and it's still affecting the GPU. When I make the GPU the encoder, uh, I don't really know if that makes any difference to do both, like the recording, on, but I'm just doing it. I don't think it changes. Uh, 11%. Yeah, it's the same. So I think you have to take that into consideration. That might be where my extra lag is happening is when you know, I put my frame rates and do my this and then that and the other thing. Uh, I got to account for the extra 10% of headroom that OBS has. Because if you push it too hard, you can wind up getting input lag, right? So this is an interesting thing. The only other way I can get stuff to port over is to clone. Oh, yeah. And then, well, here's, here's the other part of our little adventure is to, uh, we'll go back here, go here. And this is what, an extended display? What's happening right now? This is an extended display. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on these, these two here. And I'm going to... Uh, yeah, the OBS is done. Okay, so my Elgato set to 144. My Samsung set to 240. Uh, and it's the same in both, blah, blah, blah. And I'm doing my scaling on the GPU. I don't know if that makes any difference between the display and the GPU, but whatever. So now we're going to clone. Clone with two. Apply. And so now... Oh, I got to hit yes here. <clears throat> now, 
our CPU and our GPU are both at zero. So if anybody's wondering what's the better way to do it, this is the better way to do it. Uh, like you can see these, these two are cloned. But for me, I'm getting screen tearing. The only other way I can fix things, but it also adds input lag, is to go into something like Overwatch and then scroll down to Vertical Sync and use Fast. And that gets the screen tearing cleaned up. But there's input lag. So I'm in the process of figuring out what I want to do. <laughs> Do I want to have a little bit of screen tearing on my streams and have no input lag? Do I want to use the fast vSync setting and have no screen tearing? Uh, or do I want to use the OBS port and, and have perceived what's input lag? But I haven't really gotten that much into it. But OBS, you know... If you have your preview window open up on your gaming PC is like 16%. Uh, let's see what happens when we're not even shunting or whatever. We just open it. Yeah, I mean, we're not even sending anything anywhere. Let's get rid of this display capture. And so this is what life is like with a 2080 Ti. Life is going to be a lot worse if you have like... Well, I don't know if it would be if you're... But I don't even think the encoder matters. I think it just eats this much anyway. So just to have it on, let's let it settle for a little bit. Just to even have it on, it looks like it's 6%. Turn that off again. With a 2080 Ti, now we're back to zero. And then turning it on, we're up to Six percent. So just to have it on and doing nothing. Uh, how about if with the preview window on? There's nothing in the preview window, and it shoots up to like the ten, eleven percent. So the preview window eats, eats juice. Uh, the display capture. Now, the other question would be: Does the game catcher eat eat less than the? Because like. For Overwatch, I use game capture. For something like Destiny 2, I use display capture. So, let's, where's my NVIDIA thing? Go back to split screen. Okay. So, currently, no OBS, back to zero. And then, OBS, 6%. Just to turn the damn thing on. And then, I wonder if that was higher before. I wonder if that was eight. So let's go game capture. Ooh, that's interesting. Now I wonder if I have to have a game running. Let me run uh, Overwatch. That's interesting. Let me make sure that's working. I'm going to turn off the preview. Yeah, as soon as you hit the preview, it's like, nope. Nope. Oh, dude. Okay, now we're talking. Yeah, dude, look at that. What? Well, that's the total GPU amount. Now, this isn't going to be a full... Uh, this isn't going to be like me simulating an entire uh, thing. But... If I'm inside Overwatch and I'm moving around, yeah, I'm getting like. This isn't going to, I'm not going to play a whole game or anything. Oh, game. So my total usage is 55%. Okay. Let me kill this preview window. And then. Dude, it's going to fluctuate, right? I don't know what I'm doing. Can't hit nothing. 
kill snowman versus the uh, bots. And I'm losing. 61%. Let me turn that preview back on. Does it go up? It does. It goes up like... Did I say 61% before? Where are we at? We're at like... 69, 68. So I think this should be in the in the safe margins of me being able to, to play with no GPU input lag. But it also, it always feels like there's a little bit of extra. And let me just check the screen tearing area. No screen tearing, which is good. Oh, so bad. Okay. 72, that's our peak. Let me turn off the preview window. And let's uh, run around a little bit, see if that affects anything. Oh, I think that loosened up stuff. That actually loosened up stuff a little bit. Like it, well, tightened up stuff. It, it feels snappier now. So, and then what are we at? We're at 65. So, yeah, you're looking like you're losing like 6% by having the preview window open. I think. Uh, 